Hey guys, we're going to be working on our health assignment right now. We are going to be finishing our body books. So what you're going to need for this lesson, you're going to need your science book, your health packet, your body books, a crayon color of your choice, and your pencil and eraser. And we're going to go ahead and get started with talking about the nervous system, which includes your brain and your nerves. And it's super cool. So get ready. For our health packet, we're going to turn to page 74 and 75. It is the last two pages that we have in our health packet. Okay, because we're going to be finishing our body books today. So, we're going to be talking about our brain and nerves in our bodies and how it works. So, let's read together your brain and nerves. Your brain and nerves belong to a body system. This system works to control your body. Your brain is the body part that sends, this is important, and receives messages to and from all parts of your body. Nerves are body parts that carry messages to and from your brain to the rest of your body. Nerves carry messages to help you see, hear, smell, and taste, touch, and move. Many injuries to the brain are caused by falls. How can you protect your brain from injury? That's why it is so important to always wear a helmet when you are on anything that has wheels, a bike, a scooter, a skateboard, all of those things because you only have one brain and one head and it's super important to protect it any way that you can. So helmets are great. People that are on motorcycles wear helmets as well. Um, so anything to protect your brain and your spine is what you need to wear. All right, and here is x-rays are special kinds of pictures. X-rays help doctors know what is happening inside your body. Sometimes doctors use some new kinds of x-rays made by computers. The computers take pictures of the parts of your brain as if it were a loaf of bread. It's kind of funny. The pictures are slices of the body parts. Doctors study these pictures to find out how to help people. And there's some imaging. This is what the inside of your brain looks like. If you cut your face right there, it shows you cool things and brain stems and everything. Technology is super, super cool. So go grab your science books and we'll go over our brain in our science book. Okay, turn to page 144, and there's this really cool picture, and this is what your brain looks like inside your head. And then it goes down here. This is where the base of your brain is, and it goes down um, to your spinal cord. Okay, so let's read at the top about your brain. It says your brain is an important part of your body part. Your brain controls what your body does by sending and receiving messages. So we've read that twice. So that is super important. Your brain sends and receives messages. And if your brain gets hurt, it can't talk to other parts of your body. Your brain helps you move, think, and feel. You use your senses to get information. This information travels to your brain. Your brain sends messages to the other parts of your body to tell them what to do. You hear a telephone ring. The sound travels to your brain. Your brain may tell you to answer the telephone. This is what I do in class when we talk about the brain, is I get a big ball and I'll throw it to someone. And what are your instincts when someone's throwing you a ball? What are your instincts to do? Well, your brain is telling your hands, catch it so it doesn't hit me in the face. So your brain is sending messages to your hands to catch it. And then your hands move and they catch the ball so it doesn't hit you in your face. So your brain is the main controller of your entire body. Again, that is why it's so important to protect it. Okay, it says down here, it says you smell your favorite food. The smell travels to your brain, so it goes, mmm, and then it travels to your brain, right, which your brain might tell you. If, let's say, one of my favorite foods is chocolate chips, chocolate chip cookies, actually. So if I'm smelling chocolate chip cookies, 
and I know my brain is telling me, oh, they're cooking and they smell so good. What are my taste buds going to want? Right? They're going to want chocolate chip cookies. So, your brain, my brain, might tell me that I am hungry. Or that I just want a snack. A chocolate chip cookie snack. Because it that makes it smell good. So you smell it with your senses. Your senses send a message to your brain and your brain's like, hmm, I think I'm going to have a snack or I'm going to, I'm hungry. So I'm going to eat my favorite food. All right. What I want you to do is go grab your body books and we are going to do our very last page on the nervous system, which is our brain and our nerves they're all part of the nervous system. We are going to be working on our brain part. It's our last page in our body book. And what I want you to do is pick any crayon you want. Any color. I'm going to choose purple because it's my favorite color. And I'm going to color the brain. Okay? And because we read that the brain sends messages, you can trace some of these lines. Because the brain says messages to all parts of your body, all the way down to your toes. Then I figured since this is our last one, you can pick any color you want to represent your brain and how it sends messages. Now we are going to go ahead and start writing our paragraph at the bottom. Make sure you have two fingers indenting because it's in a paragraph and this is small enough so we can start on the very top line. Okay, so we are going to start with our paragraph about our brain and we're going to put the most important information it tells us what our brain does. <laughs> My brain sends messages to every part of my body. My brain controls what my whoop, body does by sending and receiving messages. My brain uses my senses to get information. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. I think I went too big, so it's not going to fit everything. Okay. So it uses information. Then this information travels to my brain. And then, so it travels to my brain and then down to my body parts. Nerves carry messages, whoop, not messages, messages to and from my brain. My brain spine and spinal cord are part 
of the system, the nervous system. And then here's a reminder, always protect your brain. Super, super important to always protect your brain. Okay? Your homework tonight is to please add two sentences to your body book about your nervous system. Some fun facts about your brain would be super awesome. Make it fun, make it crazy, and be ready to share on Friday.